friends, this is a Bijou Baker. I'm Maria, and I'm here with my girl, Jean Persante from Beauty and the Stamper. We are gonna make um, a, couple of, a couple of fun videos today, but she was asking me, and asked me several times about how I made this um, beautiful mixer. So I'm gonna just kind of break down. Of course, I'm not gonna make a whole one, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So, <laughs> because I'm a brat and I didn't wanna use my other one, <laughs> just in case I may have ruined it, uh, I bought a new one <laughs> specifically for this and I'm so glad I did. So here's what I did. When you are going to work on your mixer and you're going to take off, um, you have to take off the shine. So the hardest, the hardest thing I have ever done is get a brand new mixer out of the box, take it out and uh, sandpaper the shine off of it. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I, I knew it, I need to, I need to, I don't want to, it's too pretty. And so the first one I did, of course, was on the very, very bottom, way back here. And I just started, I said, well, I'm committed now. So what I had to do was I sanded um, only the half. This shine is still um, original. Did I sign it? Nope, I, I sanded the whole thing. Yeah, and right. it's going to be a dull, ugly, unpolished look. Of course, you're taking it off. And I um, masked off the top because it came red, but I needed this brilliant American blue on the bottom. So from about here on down, I, I, I masked all this up and I covered it with uh, plastic and made sure that the paint wouldn't get into it. And, um, Sorry. <laughs> so then I, I masked off this part right here. Okay. This is the part that, that uh, goes up and down. Okay. Well, I didn't want the paint to get on there. So I put masking tape on there and I wanted this gold strip right here. So I masked that off and then I, I took off the little hinges. I covered these little tips with masking tape and any part I didn't want blue, I put masking tape or paper or something to, to protect it and then I spray painted and that's it and when you spray paint you probably know it because your girls are so crafty but you you start if this is what you're spraying you start at the end and then take it off did you know that mm -hmm. so so you don't just spray like this because you're gonna get wetter spots and drier spots so you spray you let it go uh, you you squeeze down and you spray away from your item and then you spray and then you let go because if you if you start spraying you're going to get a splotch wherever it starts or stops and you don't want that you want smooth and so you just sprayed 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 and sprayed i think i gave it two or three coats and then i had ordered these decals the stars and the decal um but when i got this it was it was yellow and i'm thinking She's not yellow, she's gold, and she's sparkly gold. So, I kind of made it. <laughs> so I got the decal, I put it on there. Um, this little strip here was just an extra piece that came with it, so I used it. Um, and then I put a strip of masking tape right here. Oh, I removed the strip of masking tape right here and here. And I went to Michael's and I got some some gold, just acrylic paint, and I brushed it on. That still wasn't sparkly. So I got some glitter, nail polish glitter. Oh, and I sat there and meticulously touched every, and it was really tricky. It's really tricky because I didn't want anything on the red. I only wanted that yellow to be gold and sparkly. So um, I meticulously touched up all with the glitter and did it on the, the sides here. And you can't see, well, you can now kind of, you can't see in the camera, it's just not doing it justice. Oh, I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll swirl it around to show it off. And it's used, <laughs> it's really used. Anyway, so then I got, um, I got the stars. Um, and if you have a Cricut, that's, I didn't have a Cricut at the time. My daughter got one later on, and so I was thinking, well, I should have went there. Um, but if you have a Cricut or, or those other, Silhouettes or scanning goes. There you go. Then, then you—that's what you do. 
and it's just these these pieces and I just put the stars where my eyes wanted the stars so these are vinyl yes nice and um once they were done and once I was happy with the work um, I sprayed it with um, shellac and use the heck out of it. Uh, let me show you. Um, let me show you the details that we were talking. See how's that for a picture right there with the with Miss Beauty herself. So you see this? Can you see the shine? I hope so. How's that? <laughs> it's in your face, baby. You can see how intricate and delicate my finger, my handwork was there because it's a very fine line where that W is, and then. This, um, she asked how I kept from keeping that uh, sprayed. And I just masked it off with masking tape. Same here. And when this goes up and down, uh, it hides it and matches perfectly. And then you got these pretty stars. That's really cool. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's uh, how I made this beauty and I use it all the time. As a matter of fact, we're gonna use it on the next video, so uh, click and subscribe and uh you'll see this you'll see this put to use a lot that's my mixer guys wonder woman i think every woman has some wonder in her i do this one i wonder about a lot what oh. you know have you stopped it yet or you're still going <laughs> <laughs> um no what i was gonna say is i know a lot of the beauties use their cricket so if you beauties are on here and you're seeing this let us know down below what you guys have done with your cricket and if you've made something like this, because I know I want to do mine because I just have a white one. I I don't know how you did that. I cannot like jump the shark and just do it. It's, it's, it's scary. It takes guts. But once you do it and you know you're committed, then I mean, I, I sit and I just look at this thing all the time. And, and if one woman's not your thing, if you like, you know, paisley prints or whatever it is, you if you've got a cricket, oh my gosh, cricket, cricket, cricket. cricket. <laughs> if you've got a cricket, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you've got a cricket... Uh, the crickers are much <laughs> less yeah, expensive. Yeah, I've got a few of those. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever kind of print you like, if you have a certain wallpaper that you really like or, or a, a picture, whatever. I mean, you guys know how to use this. I, I don't. I just say make it happen and boop, I get it. So so there you go. You'll have fun with that. I'm actually going to make another mixer. I have one of those white stand mixers, the, the four, five quart, I think the smaller ones, um, the KitchenAid. I'm gonna bring that baby up. We'll do a video on that because that one's just, that one is just, I see these things and it's like, okay, can I make this happen? So I guess we'll find out. All right, my friends, until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.